Hi guys, it is Demma, and I have got another little mini haul video today. I ordered a bunch of stuff off of Amazon. Most of it is coming in a couple more days as for Cody's Easter basket. I have gotten him some stuff like from Walmart, like the Dollar General and stuff, but I found a few things online that I had to get him. Um, so that's coming within the next couple of days. I think a couple of these things today are from them or from that order as well because um, I have one from Amazon Fulfillment Services which I'm assuming is one of the ones that I got for him so we'll see but um speaking of Easter lazy PC go went ahead and ordered my um, Amazon Easter gift and I didn't know what it was and he went ahead and gave it to me so I'd like to share Sorry, I didn't know if you can hear over that. Um, if you can hear over the AC, which I just turned off, that's what that beep was, let me know because otherwise I'm going to leave it on. I usually just run the fan part of it just to have air circulating because it gets stuffy. But um, the first thing he got me for Easter was the little DC Superhero Girl mini katana because, you know, I'm a katana whore. I love katana because... She doesn't get any love, but she soon should, especially from Boomerang, wink wink. And then he got me the Rock Candy Vinyl Collectibles, um, I think, yeah, they're by Funko of Moana, because he thought I had a Moana Funko, but I told him no, it was just the keychain version. Um, I don't have like any of the full size Moanas, so he didn't. Get me that Moana Funko like he was early. Then there's his note and it just says, Hi, Happy Easter. Collect these two. This is your first one to get you started from John, which is his name. So, uh, Anyway, those are my two little Easter things I got from him. Um, and actually, my son picked out the Moana thing. He picked out the Katana thing. Usually when he gets me stuff, it's always comic book related because that's what he's into. That's what he... Um, he knows a lot about and where to buy stuff and so he got me that and, and then he let my son pick something out that was like within like a price range and he, my, my son knows I am obsessed with Moana so he got me the little Moana. So that one's actually technically from Cody. Cody gives me the best things. He got me the Bell Once Upon a Time Funko and so I didn't have to get it and I need to get the Diz the, 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 the Zelina one. It's the only other one that I want to get. But it's a shame they didn't make her green. I think it, she's just regular non-green Zelina. I like green Zelina. At first I did not like Zelina <laughs> from Once Upon a Time. But I have grown to like family. Kind of a girl crush on Bex Mater. So, yeah. So anyway, let's get started with these packages. Um, there's three but I think one has a bunch of them in it um so greedy I need that yeah. oh there she goes thank you scissors I have to turn I don't mess anything up oh you want to get in the box Hold on, Greedy. Hold on. I don't think you're gonna fit in it, but you can try to get into it. If it fits, I sit, right? Hang on, Greedy. Try to get in that box. No? You should have seen it when I ordered. I, I was lazy, so I ordered or I primed cat food and cat litter because I didn't know when I was going into town next to get that. So I figured I'd go ahead and do it. Oh, she actually fits in it. Um, hold on. She took over the box. Greedy! Did you get in the box? Uh-oh, there's Catgar. Catgar is inspecting the box. Let's zoom out. What you think, Catgar? Think Kekar. 
So yeah, I primed um, litter and cat food. A 16 pound bag of cat food and a 40 pound bag of litter for like, the litter was like $12 and some change. It's Amazon Basics litter. And I have one, two, three, four, six cats. That are driving me crazy because one's in the heat and she's rolling all over everything. But um, anyway, um, it works amazing. Um, I only have one litter box that that's all I have room for, so I'm like constantly scooping it whenever I like stand up to get a drink or whatever. But um, yeah, I would definitely recommend that brand. Um, it clump, it clumps very well. Um, when you pour it out, it does have a little bit of dust, like most litters do. Um, there's not a lot of tracking to be like a cheap brand. So 40 pounds for like 12, I think 12, 12 or something. Um, yeah, definitely worth it. And I just got a 16 pound bag of Meow Mix. That's what they're used to. So yeah. But when that, when we had them sitting in here, it was funny because they were trying to get in the box. Even though they had food already out, they smelled it and they were like, oh my gosh, there's food in there. Let me, let's get to it. So anyway, I'm rambling. My throat, I woke up when my throat was sore. Um, I don't know why. And I woke up with a migraine too, but it's not just a storm until like middle of next week. So I don't know, I had to take a migraine pill along with my tram it off my back because I could not get up to get my son off the bus today. So yeah. <sighs> anyway, first package is from Jinx in Lexington, Kentucky. So I think I kinda know what this one is. But I'm not gonna tell you until you see it. Yeah, this is something for Cody. I was looking up cat things and I happened to find this cute little black Minecraft kitten plushie. And it was only like eight dollars. It was cheap because usually, and it's actually by the actual brand, and usually their stuff is expensive. And I know he doesn't have this yet because we've not seen this in stores. So I, I primed this. So I'll be going into these recipes. He is obsessed with Yokai Watch, Minecraft, SpongeBob. He kind of likes rabbits. Um, and he's actually into a lot of like Disney stuff. He likes Disney princesses and stuff. He can identify like a lot of the princesses, like Belle or Snow White or Elsa, like the newer ones. I wouldn't say Snow White, let me retract that phrase, but like the newer ones like Ariel, Belle, Jasmine, Elsa, Anna, Moana, who I found out in another video, I think it was like one of those top 10 videos, is the richest princess because after they take out what they use or cost to make the movie, she still made like 495 I think, million dollars or 595 million dollars worldwide so she's the richest princess but yeah I'm hoping they're gonna do a sequel I don't know what that would do or maybe make a TV series or something because this was I was I didn't have high hopes for Moana honestly I just I don't know I just wasn't feeling it and then I saw Pooh and I was like, oh, he's cute. And I don't like pigs, but he was black and white spotted. And I have a weakness for like black and white things like cats and cows. And anything with black and white spots. Like dogs, like cats, but he's black and white. He's got a... <laughs> they're all trying to climb on this big box and they're falling over. Um, but yeah, and then I thought, and then they said there's not going to be a love interest. So I'm like, okay, that sounds even better because... I'm tired of like the whole, there's always like a love interest that ruins the thing. Even in like action movies, like like one of the Bourne movies, I'm like, you could have done 
without the damn romance part and it would have been a better movie I mean let them save the girl or whatever don't make them hook up like in Pacific Rim when um I think it's Mako and Raleigh they're like partners I mean you could tell there's some like tension or whatever romantic tension but then at the end there's like this whole romantic kiss and stuff and I was just like I liked it better when they weren't like a couple it, it just made a better movie so I mean but I guess they they did that for effect I don't know but anyway I can't wait for Pacific Rim 2 John Boyega is gonna be in it so that's gonna be really interesting um, I liked Chuck so <laughs> but at least that Chuck came back as Ogrim in World of Warcraft so um yeah cause everybody most of the characters I like end up dying <laughs> spoiler alert um but Pacific Rim I don't really like mecha movies or animes or anything but that one was really good I love it I had a huge Pacific Rim like phase and I actually found out that they have action figures of all the Jaegers so I got Chuck Janssen's Jaeger so that's over at the other camper in a cabinet. I have so much stuff over there in the cabinet because I didn't want the cats to knock it over and get it messed up. So, anyway, I'm sorry, I'm rambling again. Jesus. Ugh, I'm terrible at this. So, anyway, that was that one. Oh, it's I think this is one of his gifts, too. This is the one from Amazon Fulfillment Services. I try to always cut where the, the seal is so I can just like slide my scissors underneath there and hopefully. Yeah, Easter snuck up on us, man. It feels like it shouldn't be here. And Friday they're having, I don't know when I'm going to get this video up. Today I'm filming it on the um, 14th. But this Friday they're having an awards ceremony for like the honor roll students and like principals list students, yes, for him. This is not a new condition. Alright, this was supposed to be a brand new condition, and I don't know why. I want to complain, but the lonely the lion cub. Got a shy little lion cub. It's just a little chapter book. Cause Cody loves to read. Anything with cats or Minecrafts or zombies. But yeah, look at this. It's supposed to be brand new, but can you see that? It's like ripped in half and it goes into the pages. There's a whole series of these, but I mean, it goes halfway through the book. So yeah, I will be, um, taking a picture of this I mean look at the, that that's just that's not cool you can see like where it's been bent and this obviously has not been the culprit because it wasn't bent up or anything so that's weird another weird thing is my mother-in-law lazy PC's mom ordered something from finger hut just drop ship it here and it was being shipped through UPS well, she ordered it like two weeks ago and we're like, where's the package? It should have been here by now. So he contacted UPS last yesterday and it says something it, he that carton was empty and discarded, blah 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 blah. So basically the carrier, whoever was delivering the UPS stuff that day, stole the merchandise. And so we had to call Finger Hut. And they had to call UPS and they have reshipped out um, another one of the items. Um, 
and because the item obviously was insured through UPS, so they have to pay for it. Um, but I'm like, really? Really? People are still doing that? I don't get it. It's just, it, and it was going to be here by Easter, but now it's not. So, Katgar, can you calm down, please? So, like, it just sucks. I mean, I'm going to guys back a little bit because this box is a little bit big all. It's not a big box because everything I got in it is, should be small, but these are all for me. When I went in and saw Cody's, like, they had recommended things underneath on Amazon, you know how they always do. Well, I got some stuff that was recommended from that purchase. So, yeah. I need an actual, like, box cutter. I used to have a couple of my Walmart ones because they never you pay for them um, when you get them, but I don't know where they are. I have seen where there's like a Hello Kitty one because Kelly Eden got one. Maybe I'll get one of those because this can be kind of dangerous when you open them up like that. My lighting went wacky. Sorry about that. Hopefully you can still see all right. We just have like a cloud go over this like overcast for a second. So. Bubble wrap. One, no, really bubble wrap, but it says air. Pocket thing. Cutting to him. Cutting, cutting, cutting. That way I can ball it up and throw it away. I'm trying not to let them run in front of the camera. Ugh. Yes, I made it to the And then you can see, boop, that's what's in there. Alright. Oh, here's Cody's other thing. This is the other one to that set, the Lucky Snow Leopard. I looked up Snow Leopard and this is what popped up. Because Snow Leopards are my favorite cat that and the bobcat so it's another one that series like I said and there's a couple more down there so there's this is book four the other one I think is book two this is book one so I don't think you really have to go in a certain order with these they're like 198 pages so they're good little chapter books for like eight, between four and eight year olds depending on how advanced your child's reading or whatever stage you're at. So yeah, I got me a whole bunch of stuffed animals. I think the total ended up being like 50, $57. So yeah. One, two, five. So the first one I got is this cute little tiger. Let me free him from his elastic prison. Oh, he's so soft. And he is from Conservation Critters, the closest thing to the real thing. And it just says White Tiger on the back. Wildlife Artist Inc. in Bethel, Connecticut. So there's the tag. And then there's the back of the tag. If you want the, the PC number, it is 6. Five three seven two six two four three zero four eight. White Tiger CCR dash 
1360W. So, he's so soft. He's not like a beanie baby, but he's like not got so much stuffing where usually the little ones they stuff them so much they're like stiff, but he's not. He's really soft. And Kyrie. I don't know what I'm gonna name you, but you're gonna get a name. So there's his back tags. I like it when they give them names, but of course this company doesn't give them names. And then his belly is just all white, which I wonder how long he's going to stay white. I'll have to put him up somewhere where he won't get messed up. You want to see how about this? <laughs> put you in here. There you go. We'll set him in the Moana. I'm out of tissue. Moana tissue. I usually either get the Moana or the frozen box. I've used it all. Okay. And the next one I got is the same company that makes my big expensive kitty kitty which is my big huge cat that my parents got me for 50 bucks in the hospital the second hospital i was at when i went through all that stuff with my heart um, from aurora brand which is actually where i live aurora i just thought it was weird it's this purple kitty cat they have a pink one too and i think there's another color i can't remember I want to say her name was Molly. Yeah, Molly. There's that tag and the back. I don't know. Um, yeah, Molly purple item number three one three three nine. So, um, and she's nice, and she does have little pellets in her. I can feel them. They have a small one of the one like I have, so I'm gonna get that one next. I had it in my cart and I had a bobcat in my cart well it's like it was getting to be like a hundred dollars and I'm like I don't need to order a hundred dollars for stuffed animals. I didn't need to order fifty dollars for the stuffed animals but she was so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. I love little stuffed animals. I like really tiny stuffed animals and then I like really huge stuffed animals. So. You back over here. The next one I got, he's kind of a weird looking cat. Kind of reminds me of the Coraline cat and the way he's designed. So that's why I got him. It is from the Manhattan Toy Company. And Lanky Cats, his name is Ziggy. They have, see, look at him, he looks like Dobby. I'm gonna name him Dobby. <laughs> his ears and he's like he said he's lanky long lanky he's got this little curly hue tail they have an orange stripe like almost it's actually orange and black stripe like tiger stripe one they have a solid gray one and I can't remember the other one there's four different colors and they each have a different name but I was like I got the black one he's the cutest and they have different eye colors too um, but anyway there's the Manhattan Company tag and there's his thing. Item number is 104140. So they had plenty of these in stock. He wasn't very expensive. All these were like $10 or under in that range. So if you want any, I'll try to link them below. I'm gonna upload this video. I'll try if I remember. If not, let me know too if I forget to link them or if there's a certain one you want to, to link down below let me know but I liked his little tail and he's lanky and he's just he's all scrawny and like the crooked man with the crooked cat I don't know if his ear, ears will ever pop up but I kind of like him down like that he looks sound like, a do like Dobby from Harry Potter so anyway he's very soft too but I don't, he doesn't have any pellets and oh well, yeah he does. In his feet he has pellets. That way they're kind of heavier so he's floppy. And my last two are Webkins I believe. And I have like two Webkins. Actually no I have like four cat Webkins. Because there was a store called 
they're scratching at the boxes and I'm sorry for the background noise. Um, there's a store in town, um, like New Bern, 40 minutes away called Next Tuesday and they're like $2.99 there. So I got like four or five cats and then my son has two of the same one who wanted another gray one. I was like, you've got all these colors of cats and you want another gray one. Okay, fine. So, he got that and we did log him in on um, the webkin so he could play with it online. I don't know if he could still do that because I know like Club Penguin is shutting down and stuff. So, I think webkins are still a thing. I don't know. But, I got these two because they're pink and purple and they were just different. I used to collect like Beanie Babies back in the day, so that I still have them somewhere packed away. And there's a little webkin foot. This one, does it have her name on the tag? It just says Pom Pom Kitty, and she's black. Well, not black. What am I talking about? Pink and purple with this pom pom tail. I guess that's what they call it. Pom. -pom. It has silver glitter strings in it. There she is. She's so cute. Oh, she's adorable. And she's got pink with purple spots. And she's got like, a tuxedo cat design. Where are her? Paws and underbelly are are a solid color, and she has blue eyes and a little pink and purple nose. They use pink and purple threads, so she's really cool looking. I think. She's just very unique. So. Her back there. You probably can't see them. I've got them piled up right there. And then the last one I got is a fox. I thought it was a wolf, to be honest. But I think that when I read the description, it said fox. His Fru Fru Fox, yeah. He's along the same, I guess he's in the same series, same set. I don't know if there's any more to that set, but he's just all pink all over. Different shades of pink with the Fru Fru right there. He's, he's got a nice little tail, it's fluffy, it's got a pink tip, and it's got little sprig, like little strands of iridescent glitter strings in it, so you can kind of see them a little bit sparkling, It's pretty cool, and they're in his little mane, and in his little chest fur, see he looks more like a wolf to me because of the, with the chest fur and all, oh his feet have glitter on them. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but yeah, there we go. See, there's silver glitter. I guess it's. Uh, it almost looks like stickers or something, but there, it's in there. Prints it on his paws, and there's a little webkin symbol. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Actually, her because she actually has eyelashes, so this is a her. Well, I mean, a guy could have eyelashes too. And who cares? So, but that is the end of this haul. Um, so, thumbs up if you liked it. If you want to see more hauls, I missed. If I keep the broom over here that way, if I miss, I can pick it up and stuff it in the trash can over there. Plus, it's kind of like a cane. Like I can't get up in the morning. I would get the broom and like eh, push myself up. It's pitiful. But yeah, that's why that my little friends are always over there. So anyway, um, I'm going to record another video. I think today I want to do some swatches and some makeup I got yesterday. But that is it. I hope to see you soon in the next video. So. Bye guys, I will, like I said, see you in the next video.